Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll see how we can write a Java program to check if a given integer is a unique digit integer. This question also appeared in ISC Computer Science 2025 practical specimen paper. So according to the question, a unique digit integer is a positive integer without leading zeros with no duplicate digits. For example, 7, 135, 214 are all unique digit integers, whereas 33, 3,121, 300 are not. Now, given two positive integers m and n, where m should be less than n, we have to write a program to determine how many unique digit integers are there in the range between m and n, both inclusive, and output them. The input contains two positive integers m and n and we have to assume that both m and n should be less than 30,000. Now you are to output the number of unique digit integers in the specified range along with their values in the format specified below. So here are some examples to help us understand how we have to display the output. So when m is 100 and n is 120, we can see that there are nine unique digit integers and those integers are displayed also on the screen. Here is another example if the value of m is 2505 and n is 2525, then there are 11 unique digit integers. In example three, when we have this range, 2520 to 2529, there are no unique digit integers, so the frequency is zero. So that's the question. Let's start writing the program. So here I have created a file unique digit.java. Let's start with the import statement and import the scanner class. Then we create a class unique digit and then we create our main function. Inside, we create the scanner object. And we ask for the value of m and n. So system.out.print m equals integer.percent in dot next line. Same way we can input for n also. So we can copy this and paste and n equals to this variable n. After we have received both the values, we need to make sure that the value of n is within range. So if I check this condition, if this condition is true that m is greater than n or m is greater than or equal to 30,000 or n is greater than or equal to 30,000, then in this case, we need to print invalid range. And then we return from main and exit the program. Otherwise, we take a counter variable to count the frequency of unique digit numbers. We set it to zero and then we print using the print function, not print talent, but print. And here in capital, we will write the unique digit. Let's put a hyphen in between. The unique digit integers are And we can run a loop now for i equals to m, i less than equal to n, i plus plus. And inside the loop, if uh, is unique, so let's assume that this is a user defined function which we are about to create. And if this function returns true, means if the number is, the i value is a unique digit integer, then in that case, 
if count is equal to zero, that means this is the first unique digit number. In that case, I will print. Again, I will use the print function, but I will start with a backslash n and then I print i. Else, I print, if it is not the first unique digit integer, then I just put a comma first and then print i. So that's how horizontally it will print. And after printing, I need to increment the counter also. So that is done. And outside the loop, I need to check if count is zero. That means there are no unique digit integers. So in that case, I need to print. So again, I will use print and write nil. And then I can print and I can use println this time. And I will start with backslash n. And then in capital, I can write the message frequency of unique digit integers is and I will put the count. So the frequency is also displayed. Now we have to create that function is unique. So now I will write public static boolean is unique and we will pass the number that we want to check. So here what we'll do, we'll convert the number into a string. So I'll write string s equals string dot value of n. And then i equals zero, i less than s dot length, i plus plus, and what we'll do, uh, we will write length minus one means we want to go up to the second last character. And here I will write char ch equals s dot carat i and string sub equals s dot substring i plus one. And if this substring dot index of this character is greater than or equal to zero, that means the characters are repeating. So we return false. Otherwise, we can exit this loop without returning false. That means it is a unique digit integer. So we can return true. So what's happening here is we are extracting a character. So suppose the zeroth character is extracted and then we take a substring with the remaining characters. And then we are checking whether this character is present in the remaining string or not. If it is present in the remaining string also, that means the character is being repeated. So we are checking this using the index of function. If it's returning a positive value, that means it appears again in the remaining string. So that's why it returns false. Otherwise, if the loop ends without returning false, that means there were no repetitions. So we return true. So that's all. We have completed our program and let's check the output now. So if I execute unique digit program, I give 100 and 120. So you can see that there are nine unique digit integers and those integers are also getting displayed. So that's all in this class. I hope you have understood the program. If you still have questions, get in touch through comments. You can also visit my website robinsir.in where I have posted the solution of all of these programs. Thank you for watching. See you soon in the next class.